Smorgaborn, welcome back to Five Nights at Freddy's. Now I know I said I was pretty much done with this, but somebody by the name of Big Bug decided to do the impossible and beat 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, 2020, this amazing, incredible game, and it's well, congratulations to him for getting it first time using his strategy. And basically, what you need to do is you need to put the right door down and up, and down and up every single time you put the right door down and up. Which Foxy be off, Foxy be off. So I've been practicing this for many Bitch. hours. If this seems rather tired of me to say this, it is absolutely that because I've been playing this over and over, and I've done that introduction five times over. I I am hard and 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 even if when I am perfect and even when I get to the end and even when I have a chance to win I win because it's random like it's up to random chance sometimes and I hate random chance because I hate when it's just it's not entirely dependent on skill because that means that no matter how hard I try, it's every possibility that I can win every single time if it's random. Huh? I apologize if my commentary is a bit stale or pessimistic in regards to my chances at beating this sometimes. My chances at beating this sometimes, but I have failed more times than I can remember. I have so much footage of me just failing. Over I have so much footage of me just failing. Over and over and over. But I mean, it's so incredibly... Incredibly stressful. I cannot even say I'm remotely scared by anything that happens in this game now. Hi! Oh god damn it! Hi! But the pressure, the pressure to be perfect every single god damn. Time, Freddy, please, please, I beg of you. I beg every fiber of your delicious, fluffy body. Please let me have as much time as you could give me. Please take your sweet ass time. Okay, finish your long ass song. Please do not kill me instantaneously. Please, please. Oh, my God. 